Welcome back for another video in the Luxygen world of billionaires, luxury, and mega projects as we feature the rapid transformation and development of Dubai in United Arab Emirates. If you've ever been to Dubai, you can't help but be amazed by the amount of luxurious living and incredible architecture that pushes the limits of what is possible in the Arabian desert. Just 50 years ago, Dubai was a small obscure town in the middle of a harsh desert. That all changed when oil was discovered in the area, converting Dubai from a desert backwater port to a thriving metropolis that now ranks third in the world for the number of skyscrapers. What began as a little town has evolved into a commercial and tourism hub unlike any other. From private residences to world-class skyscrapers such as the Burj Khalifa, Palm Jumeirah, and soon the Dubai Creek Tower, Dubai has it all. We take you on a tour through Dubai's makeover and look at some of the most remarkable mega projects in today's video. We'll also learn about Dubai's next mega project, such as the Maiden One Tower and the Dubai Creek Tower, all of which are over 100 meters tall. 1999 Burj Al Arab With a total height of 321 meters or 1,050 feet, the Burj Al Arab is one of the world's tallest hotels. It stands 60 meters shorter than the Empire State Building and is marginally taller than the Eiffel Tower. The $1 billion sail-shaped building was finished in 1999 after five years of development. The hotel is perched majestically atop a man-made island. Guests who do not own a helicopter can use a bridge to get to the Burj Al Arab. A number of world record-breaking sporting events have taken place on the helipad. It had been changed into a boxing ring, a tennis court, and even a race car track at one point. 2001 Palm Jumeirah The Burj Al Arab was not the end of Dubai's search for ultimate luxury. Construction on the Palm Jumeirah began in June 2001 and the first residential units were offered to the public in 2006. The Palm Jumeirah is part of the Palm Islands, a huge land reclamation project that includes two archipelagos, the Palm Dera and the Palm Jabal Ali. The Palm's crescent-shaped backwater was the first piece built to protect the inner island structures from severe sea currents. The Palm Jumeirah project cost the staggering $12 billion by the time all 17 fronds were completed. 2009 The Dubai Metro The Dubai Metro is the fastest way to get around Dubai. This rapid transit rail network, which began operations in 2009, comprises of 49 stations and completely automated and autonomous trains. The Dubai Metro has a total length of 75 kilometers or 46 miles, making it the world's longest automated driverless metro. While this is amazing, the New York subway, which has 10 times as many stations and stretches around 400 kilometers or 250 miles, dwarfs it. 2010 The Burj Khalifa Dubai is not only home to the world's longest metro system, the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building at 828 meters or 2,720 feet, is also located there. The Dubai government began building on the Burj Khalifa in 2004 to secure this record. The Burj Khalifa was formally opened on June 4, 2010, six years and one and a half billion dollars later. More than 12,000 men were working on the skyscraper every day at its peak, and more than 55,000 tons of steel had been utilized by the time the final slab of the Burj Khalifa was laid, enough to build the Eiffel Tower six times. 2010 Al Maktoum International Airport While architectural marvels such as the Palm Jumeirah and the Burj Khalifa are swiftly becoming tourist magnets, Dubai's airport have had to expand to keep up with the influx of visitors. An international airport named after the ruler of the Emirate of Dubai, Muhammad bin Rashid Al Maktoum, is located in the Jabal Ali Al Maktoum district. It was opened in 2010 and is also known as Dubai World Central International Airport. The airport is estimated to have cost Dubai an incredible $82 billion to build. 
with around 90 million annual travelers. The airport is now the fourth busiest in the world. 2018 Dubai Frame The Dubai Frame, on the other hand, was designed to highlight the city's grandeur, while the international airport was built for functionality. This stunning architectural monument is located in Dubai Zabil Park and was completed in 2018 at a cost of $62 million to the Dubai government. The frame, which is made of aluminum, glass, steel, and reinforced concrete, stands at a towering 150 meters or 500 feet tall. It is positioned so that tourists can see the modern characteristics of Dubai from one side and the historic areas of the city from the other. Nonetheless, this architectural masterpiece has sparked debate and has been termed the world's largest picture frame. Fernando Donis created the design, but he later sued the Dubai government, alleging that his intellectual property had been stolen and that he had never been reimbursed for the work. 2021 The Eye The Eye, which will be the world's largest observation wheel once completed in early 2021, is the major attraction of the recently completed Blue Waters Island. The eye will be 250 meters or 820 feet tall, dwarfing the current largest observation wheel in Las Vegas, the High Roller, which stands at only 167 meters or 550 feet. In fact, if all 192 spokes cable wires were laid out in a horizontal line, it would cover a staggering distance of 2,400 kilometers or 1,500 miles. 2021 one Zabel. While giant Ferris wheels are impressive, skyscraper projects, notably this one, the One Zabel, are absolutely tempting. This twin tower project is currently under development with a completion date of mid 2021. The first tower will be over 300 meters or 980 feet tall, roughly equal to the Eiffel Tower's height. Both skyscrapers will be linked by a spectacular sky cantilever that will be hung 100 meters or 300 feet above the earth. It will be the world's longest cantilever with lounges and restaurants as well as other attractions. 2021, Maiden District 1. What began as a small housing project in 2007 has evolved into a city in the Nad Al Sheba region. The Maiden District 1 will be home to the Maiden 1 a 711 meter or 2330 foot tall residential tower in addition to housing the world's largest horse racing festival and the Dubai World Cup it will be the world's tallest residential tower once completed it will also be home to 83000 high profile residents and the world's longest indoor ski slope measuring 1 kilometer in length 2021 Dubai Creek Harbor while Maiden City will undoubtedly be spectacular, the Dubai Creek Harbor will undoubtedly overshadow it. This project will be completed in 2021 and is located near the Dubai Creek. It will be home to various service departments as well as a number of open parks and spaces once completed. But the Dubai Creek Tower will be the most spectacular feature and the focal point of this residential paradise. When finished, the Dubai Creek Tower will be the world's highest tower. The architects are keeping the actual height a secret so that no competitor can plan ahead and build a higher tower, such as the Jeddah Tower. This, on the other hand, gives a lot of opportunity for speculation about the final height. What we do know is that the tower will be between 900 and 1,400 meters tall, or three and a half times the Empire State Building's height. The building cost is projected to be $1 billion. The Dubai Creek Tower will feature 10 of the world's highest observation decks, offering panoramic views of the city. The tower's exterior will be extended by spinning balconies on the observation decks. There will also be two garden decks, the design of which was inspired by Babylon's hanging gardens. The tower's construction began in 2016 and was scheduled to be completed by 2020. There is currently no construction on site, and given all the unique events that have occurred in 2020, the completion date will most certainly be pushed out. Thank you for joining us today for another video in the Luxygen space of billionaires, luxury, and mega projects. Be sure to like, 
subscribe, and hit that notification bell as we will feature more Luxygen videos like today's video. Let us know your thoughts on Dubai's accelerated development and what it means for its future. See you next time in our future videos.